Well, hello and welcome to our online Christmas Eve service. Wherever you are, we're glad you've joined us and we hope that you'll be blessed by drawing closer to the manger tonight. If you're a regular at church or at family fun, you should have received a box that looks something like this. And the box came with a message that it was to be opened tonight. And we're nearly there. Because tonight we're thinking about the gift that God gave to the world in Jesus Christ. He came as a baby so that he could be just like us to understand how we feel and to help us to grow closer to God. So you also have gifts in your boxes and they'll vary a little bit depending on your ages. So let's open the boxes together, shall we? Thomas and Emily? That is your box. So let's get that box opened and see what's inside. school you'll have one called hay in the manger now somewhere in there there should be hot chocolate oh good some marshmallows for sharing yes excellent some chocolate coins to share and <laughs> there should be more in there a chocolate lollipop and a candy cane for each of you And somewhere in there, there should also be the story of the candy cane, which will either be on a piece of paper or a fridge magnet, one for each family. Yes, looks like that. Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> now, you should also have some kind of stars in there. If you're secondary age, they might be on black card or it might be a stained glass star for you to make as we go through. But if you're a bit younger, you'll probably find a gold star. Emily, can you find the gold star that isn't in your box? The one that's under the table. <laughs> there you go. So your gold star will look something like this. Can you hold that one up and show them what the gold star looks like? Thank you. And as we go through the service tonight, we're going to make that into an ornament for you to hang on your tree. Now, lastly, if you are year 10 or above, in your box you should find a mug or a cup that's wrapped up. If you are a boy, it should be wrapped in a red snowflake bag. Yay! If you're a girl, it should be in a bag with Christmas trees on it. Have we got this right? Yes, we have. If there are two girls in your family, you will have two wrapped in Christmas trees. So just both pick one. They're in there at random, so it doesn't matter which one you get. The idea of these is that you can follow the questions and reflections in your Advent booklet that come under the heading Cup of Wonder, which is something we've done with the adults before, but this year we thought you guys could have a go. So, when we finish the service, stick some hot chocolate in your mug and a couple of marshmallows and take some quiet time and have a cup of wonder reflection for yourselves. So, it's Christmas Eve. Are we all sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. Oh, 
a special time of the year and we have a very special story from the Bible. We hope you'll join in with us as we tell this story. This year we've had some bad news, but there's also been some good news and that's a bit like our story. When you see the smiley face, jump up and shout good news. And when you see the sad face, stay sitting down and say bad news. Let's have a practice. It's good news! Good news! Well done. Now let's try bad, bad news. news. Bad news. Very good. Now, I think we're ready to start our story. Let's open the book to the story of the first Christmas. Good news, said the angel to a girl named Mary. God is sending someone special into the world. He will be a great king. His name will be Jesus. And guess what? God wants you to be his mother. Good news, said the angel to a carpenter named Joseph. God is sending someone special into the world. He will rescue everyone from the wrong things that they have done. He will be God's own son. But guess what? God wants you to take his mother Mary as your wife and raise little Jesus as your own son. Bad news, sighed Joseph to Mary. The rulers of our country want to count us to see how many people there are. And to make it easier for them, we have got to go back to our hometown. That means a trip all the way from Nazareth to Bethlehem. And with the baby due so soon. God's own son, 
there in your arms, Jesus. Well, over the sky in Bethlehem, a bright star shone in the sky. So let's put the big gold star in your ornament kit. Let's put the big gold sticky star on the top of the star ornament. So Emily's going to demonstrate. the back off. There we go. And you stick that on the top point. There we go. Let me show you. So that's up on the top point of your star to remind us that that star shone out over Bethlehem. Well, let's put two more stars onto our star ornament. And this time we're going to take two of the small coloured sparkly stars. We're going to put one on each of the top arms of the star, one for Joseph and one for Mary, to remind us that Mary and Joseph held the baby Jesus in their arms. And also to remind us that God holds us in his arms because he loves us. Emily's got two stars on the ornament, one on each of the top two arms. Good news! Called the angels and the shepherds on the hill. God has sent someone special into the world, the someone you have been waiting for. If you hurry into the Bethlehem, you can see him for yourselves. He's just a baby now, wrapped warmly and lying in a manger. But one day he will save you from all that is wrong. One day he will bring you peace. Then the angels filled the sky with a good news song. What's all that noise? What's all that light? It woke the lambs. It gave us a fright. Those noisy flying things up there. And look, the humans, they're all scared. But Barney, the babies aren't scared at all. In fact, they're staring at them all. That's true. Maybe it's something good. Well, the humans are going. Maybe we should. Follow them, Barney, and we'll see where they go. I've got a feeling there's something to know. The shepherds then went to Bethlehem and made a good news visit. And on that very first Christmas day, Mary just watched and rocked her baby and smiled a good news smile. So the shepherds and the sheep went to Bethlehem as the angel had told them to. And they found the baby lying peaceful, warm in the straw of a manger. So have you got your star? Let's put the manger onto the star. The manger's the, the big brown sticky part. It looks like straw. There we go. And that goes right in the middle of your star. And who did they find lying in that manger? Baby Jesus. So let's put baby Jesus in the manger.
super job. Thank you, Emily. Lovely assistant. So, on that first Christmas night, Jesus came into the world as God's gift to all of us. So we can finish our star by placing two more sparkly stars on those last two points of the star to remind us that Jesus came for everyone from every direction on the earth, north, south, east and west. So now we've got our completed star ornament. And there were others who saw that same star and they followed it. But they had a much longer journey and you can meet them and find out about their story in our All Age service on January the 3rd. But tonight when you're snuggled up in your pyjamas and ready for bed, hang your star on your tree or maybe over your bed. And remember that Jesus came this night for you and for all of us, because God loves us. Loving Father, help us remember the birth of Jesus, that we may share in the song of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds and worship of the wise men. Close the door of hate and open the door of love all over the world. Let kindness come with every gift and good desires with every greeting. Deliver us from evil by the blessing which Christ brings and teach us to be merry with clear hearts. May the Christmas morning make us happy to be your children and Christmas evening bring us to our beds with grateful thoughts, forgiving and forgiven. For Jesus' sake, Amen.